The consistent flooding of Archer Park in Prestonsburg has caused destruction to storage buildings, covered the park in thick mud, and has removed parts of the road in some areas. I met with Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton to talk about the reconstruction of a building in the park and how the city plans to help alleviate these problems caused by flooding in the future. When you looked all the way down through here, the entire foundation started to come out from under it. And there's no safety at this point. Well, Jeremy, the river comes through and it actually makes a circle through the park and then it has to circle back and it all hits right there underneath the building and we've actually losing that building. It's, it's gone. We're going to have to tear it down. Uh, as you saw earlier, the bottom's falling out from under it. So we've had to build a new building. It's an additional $70,000 that we didn't want to spend. We could have spent it to be more productive and now we're having to be reactive, you know, to a problem here. Uh, we've talked to lots of different groups about what can we do to help this? How can we fix the river? And you know, there's never been a real true solution. Now, as, as we looked at the map while ago, I showed you, we could straighten this out and take a lot of the curves out of it. It's gonna save us a lot of hassle. Here's the river as it currently flows. And this is the building that's washing out. You can see where it just comes around. It has to hit somewhere to bounce back up and around. Well, we could do this so easily. Come right down, straight down through here. It would make more area for the park. There's uh, easier to control the floodways or anything like that. It'd just be easier for us to work all around. Well, you know, these people, some of them volunteer, some of them come out and we have to pay them overtime. And, you know, we have to do it because we got to get cleaned up. Uh, Richie does a wonderful job over here, him and his crew and the fire department comes helps them out. But what it all boils down to is the man hours we have spent, Richie can tell you just exactly how many, our skating rink is booked up, our uh, shelters are booked up for the summer. You know, a lot of people utilize this. Yeah, you know, when the flood comes, uh, just uh, a good example was uh, the last two weeks, uh, we had to cancel skating parties. People couldn't get into the park. Uh, but you know, once it goes down, it takes usually four or five days to get cleaned up and, and back in operation. So uh, we need to find some solution to this problem. Well, you know, we've tried for about five years to stabilize the creek bank and, uh, in different ways, and uh, the efforts were just impossible to save the building. It started collapsing around us, so uh, we had it inspected, and it came uh, this particular time, it's no longer salvageable. So it's going to be uh, torn down in the future, a new building put up in its place. So. We took bids on it. We advertised it there for a couple weeks. We opened it last night. It's going to cost us about $70,000 to get what we need. And it's not what we want right now. It's what we had to have. And uh, we would like to have been actually bigger. And you know, down in the future, we were looking towards that. But we had to rush our progress here so we could make things right. You know, there's so many entities that have to be involved. You're talking Division of Water, Corps of Engineers, uh, Environmental, and there's just so many different uh, groups are going to have to come to the table and try to work with us on this. And you know, I may get one group on board and then the other group's got a problem. If I get them all to the table and show them what a, it's a landmark. It's an icon here in this area, you know. Our, our numbers keep growing every Christmas and we're up in the 40,000s on the cars. And you're looking at 100,000 people in a 30 day span come through and look at our Christmas lights. So um, when you have to dismantle the lights overnight, and then spend the next two or three days putting them all back out. It's extremely difficult to keep that going. So, uh, but we do, and uh, we keep it going. But it's uh, it makes it so much nicer if we didn't face it all the time. And you know, it's not just clean up the mud. We got to sanitize too. You know, that's another issue because you're talking about flood water, and it's just an expense that keeps growing with us. And every year, it seems like it's getting a little bit worse. And we've just got to find a solution to it, which we're looking at, and we're talking to some different groups that hopefully we can get some action, move forward on it.